Hey guys, Brimman here, and I want to say sorry for how long it's taken to make this tutorial. Um, hold on, I'm getting a lot of Skype messages. I forgot to set myself to do not disturb. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> all right. So sorry about that. Um. What was it saying? I'm uh, sorry uh, it was taking so long to make this tutorial, but uh, I'm finally making it now, and that is the Twitch tutorial. And it doesn't require any plugins. Uh, all you'll need is Pan and Crop and Linear Blur. I, th I that should be what it's called. Let me just check. Yeah, okay, it's Linear Blur, and uh, you could use Motion Blur to uh, make it smoother you don't have to but if you do I recommend uh, motion blurring the clip already like I did as you can see that it already has the motion blur added on so obviously go to where they shoot and just disable the audio save every sample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and I'm just going to remove the audio for now and split where you want it and I would probably end it you know I wouldn't do it for I probably wouldn't do it for um if it was a trick shot episode and I was actually editing this I probably wouldn't do it here because um the text that pops up but I'd probably stop it around here you kinda want it a little long so It's hard to explain. I'm I'm sorry to you guys how rusty I am at this, but I'll get better as I go. I just took a really long break, but you'd want it kind of longer because you have to think it's gonna start off strong, but it's only for one second. So you're gonna want it kind of strong, but then it's gonna quickly die down because it may seem like a lot when you're zoomed in, you know. But if you zoom out, I mean, it's one second long, so. Uh, also, another way instead of doing pan and crop, if you do have a new blue, you can use new blue earthquake. But I'm just gonna use pan and crop on here. So go to the first frame and then go ahead and check this. Zoom in about that and move it anywhere. You can go. What I like to do is I like to um move it to a corner and then go to the opposite and just move about every. I'll just kind of go random ish every three frames or so and then when you get all for your keyframes what you can do is you can hold shift and I'll highlight them all control C go forward three frames again and then just keep pacing that in so three frames again and paste three frames again paste actually those might have been a little far off but that's okay and then for the last frame Make sure it's over here, and then restore it so it goes back to normal. So you'll see when it shoots. Oh, hold on! I know what the problem is. Sorry. All right. So you can see the screen shake down. That's a little too strong. So what you could do is you can go back into pan and crop and remove some of the shaking and just keep messing with it until you get a good shake and lastly what you'd want to do is for linear blur you're going to want to drag default on, on and then you're going to want to go to angle and amount and then you're just going to randomly move these so you can kind of you'll see in a second see how it does that kind of blur like it does on After Effects so about there go forward you know um, there just completely do this part random you know and I'm just I'm speeding through this because it's a tutorial I don't want to make it perfect but and then at the end you can just have it drag or uh, the amount slowly die off and you know you're gonna have to take time to make it look good and not as chaotic as it is right now but that's pretty much it and then once you get um 
like that perfect kind of twitch that you like what you can do is um you can copy it I'll do it I'll show you right now and so you want to twitch it here you can paste it in attributes and then you have the twitch again so if it's just how you like it then you have it again and that's how to do it guys it's really not that hard I'm going to move the keyframe a little bit more so it's a smoother transition out but yeah thanks for watching um sorry if uh, I was a little confusing you can always ask in the comments on something that you're confused by but yeah that's the twitch tutorial <laughs> I guess I'm gonna end it before I make this video too long peace